Hello everyone, it's K Michelle with Lady Dragonfly Designs. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. I, I'm so happy you stopped by. And if you're returning, thank y'all. Yes, I am so tired. It is, I guess, 10 o'clock. I don't know what time it is. It's, it's getting late. Um, I thought I did a video today. I swear I thought I did. Uh, today is Wednesday. Um, I am in transition. I am trying to uh, work my hours out uh, with the, my new job. Um, I got If I get up at 7, I got 3 hours at home in the morning, 5 hours at work, 3 at home, 2, no, 3 back at work, and then the evening. So I think I'm going to change it up and do videos like in the morning. That worked out really well the one I thought I did for today, but it was yesterday's, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Anywho, I'm in transition, but I wanted to come along. Let me tell you what my little dog did. The uh, Chawini, oh, I did that one. Um, all right, so I went to Sonic today. I had to go put gas in the car that I'm borrowing and everything. And I come home, I drop by Sonic, and I thought, oh, cool, I'll do a video on how to make a journal you know, out of a paper bag. Look what Kaya did. Mm -hmm. Y'all see this? All right, she's lucky I had grease stains on it because I don't like making a journal that has grease stains on it. it. Those might be her stains, who knows? But anyway, Miss Kaya, who's sitting right behind me in my chair with me, did that. So I got another bag and I tried to take the receipt off and I ripped it. All right, so I got another one. All right, so let's pretend this is a Sonic bag where you go out and you get fast food and this is the bag it came in. Here you got a book. Um, we're gonna pretend we got it from the $1.25 tree, okay? Uh, actually, this came out of the junior high library uh, that I used to work in, in junior high. I apologize, y'all. I'm, I'm super tired. That's why I am seriously, um, I've got my planner done for the rest of the year, and I just need to fine tune it. Like I said, just, uh, or like Scott said, just dial it in, honey, dial it in. Well, I'm, I'm trying to dial it all in and figure out when I'm going to do everything. Uh, the people I work for are just the sweetest things. I stayed there until 8.30. I'm, I get off at 8, but I stayed there until 8.30 um, talking uh, to the husband, and they got goats, and he was telling me all about goats because they were talking to me when I got out of the car, and they're so cute. They were these little babies, and he's got four baby goats in his house upstairs, and boy, they're making a racket. Let me tell you. All right, first thing I'm doing here, while I'm jabbering, is I am tearing the bottom up to where it is totally flat. Don't worry about all this stuff because we're gonna cut it off, okay? I'll even use my scissors. Hi, Kaya, how are you? My babies missed me. Did the mama Kaya. Are you gonna, are you gonna jump on my table? or on my desk. All right, there might be a Chawini jumping on the desk, I'm just saying. Oops. So you just cut off that end right there. It does not have to be perfect. We're gonna save these, cause that's good for collage when we need the brown paper back. Oh, yep, she might. Are you coming up? And this is Kaya, the Chawini that looks like a miniature Rottweiler. Are you gonna go get in the bed? She's going to go get in Era's bed. I'm sure Era... Uh, she was eating... They were eating the old Brown Lot Labs dog food. All right, I'm going to put this down. Kind of trim it up. Where it kind of looks halfway even. Are you happy right there, Kaya? Okay. So we have our bag. And all you're going to do... Uh, I'm going to fold it this way just because of that. It's all going to be glued down so it really doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, Y'all, I'm so tired. I did not even see my scissors. Oh, 
Yeah, I just, I have to, the lady I'm caring for, um, she's not paralyzed from the waist down, so, um, I, you are not eating my napkins. You already tore up the bag. She grabbed this napkin and was going to eat it. Uh, uh, Kaya. All right. All right. So, the first thing I'm going to do, all right, so you got a paper bag from a fast food restaurant, and you got a book from the Dollar Twenty Five Tree. Oh, look at that. That's yummy. All right. Um, this is a glued in signature. Um, you can get your knife from the kitchen. Okay. And all I am doing, if y'all can see, is I am just cutting down, trying to separate the innards is what I call them from the book cover. Okay. So I am just trying to detach. Woo. Hello, y'all awake? Okay. Oh, and this paper's still attached. Okay. And I hope you can see it. My hand ain't in the way. Please don't cut yourself. And this is just with the ordinary, per se, kitchen knife. Save that because you can make a journal out of that. Okay. So here are the innards of that book, okay? And it is all glued in, okay? So I should be able to just tear. See how it's glued? If it was stitched, you would see the, the stitch marks, okay? So I'm just turning out page, just a couple two, three pages. Oh, see, I already tore out some pages, apparently. All right, so I'm taking this page and I'm just going to fold it, okay? And what I'm going to do is it fits that way, but see how short it is that way? So I'm going to get my pencil and just do a little mark, just a little more over just so it had like a quarter of an inch, okay? I'm gonna get my trimmer because apparently I am not cutting right. But basically you could take a ruler and make a line and just cut it with a pair of scissors, okay? Okay, save that because that's good for collage. All right, okay. So we have this cute little journal. You can keep these pockets. We can glue them down. Right now, I am just tearing out pages for this journal, okay? And all you do is you just tear out pages, fold them in half, okay? That's gonna be a cool page because look, the, blank, uh, the back is blank, so you can write on that. But you just kind of tear up the book that simple and this will be a one signature it's going to be little I don't want that page. oh that's a cute picture and I don't want the glue and I like the torn edge that it's given me excuse Ari you are she is getting kibble all over the floor Oh, I'm having issues with the old brown lab. She does not want to use the restroom in the house and she's a flight risk, so I can't let her go outside. She got loose last night. Oh, last night was, oh, I got off work. I'm headed home. There's a red wasp in the car with me. And I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do rough edge there and then the next page is gonna be on the bottom. And then the next page is gonna be on the top and so forth. Do it whatever way makes you happy. Oh, I do like that as like a center. Okay, so I am just going to do this. Uh, do it right. Yes. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I like my numbers like that. Do it however you want to. Just remember, the more papers you put in, the more chunkier it's going to get. Just keep that in mind because when I first started doing this, I found this and I would make, I would sit down and make 10 of these in a night. And, uh, you know, some were chunky. So I'm just telling you, I don't need that page because I forgot about this page. That's a cute page. That's a cute first page, wasn't it? So how is everyone doing? I forgot to ask, I'm sorry. We are doing, did they get torn on both sides? It sure did, oh, score. Well, then you've got, to, well, hmm. All right, I'll make you that. All right, all right, all right, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. All right, so I got ten pages. All right, that is thick enough because once you get it all in, that that's you know, remember my Oklahoma? Uh huh. It won't be that big, but yeah, it'll get chunky. Okay, and if you think that's too much, uh, go to eight or go to five. You know, whatever makes you happy. Okay. All right, and for this. I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on. I moved my card, and I can't get to my stuff. If you got a stapler, you can get a stapler at Dollar Twenty Five Tree. Okay, you do not need the all and uh, uh, basically you can get all this stuff at the Dollar Twenty Five Tree. And I am going to use this. I am. I'm going to use my all. But if you'll put clips, which I can't even get to. Can I get to my clips? Any clips? Nope. Oh, I got one big binder clip, and that's it. All right. Um, whatever you got, clothespins work. I think I've got clothespins. Where do I put a clothespin? Nope, can't even find a clothespin. But anyway, clothespins work too, all right? So just hold it together, okay? You don't have to have an awl. You can use a pen, you know, um, if you got an ice pick, uh, a um, little screwdriver, anything will work to punch a hole, you know. I've got the all, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just eyeballing. I don't measure. Okay. Okay. And I am going to make three holes. Oh, maybe. Okay. My arthritis is hurting in my hand really bad today. And my back's hurting. It's like I said, I was just trying to oh, learn, relearn everything. Remember, you know, how to do the transfers and all that of a patient. All right. And I'm going to use this. Uh, you can buy, uh, I'm sure they have embroidery. Th they got some kind of thread, even if it's twine, whatever you can use, whatever. And I've made these holes big enough to where I don't even think I need a needle. Just remember, if you start from the inside and go out, your tail is going to be on the inside of the journal. If you want your tail on the outside of the journal, you need to start from the outside. But I need a needle. Okay, I got one. All right. Just put it through the needle, which they have all this at Dollar Twenty Five Tree. And don't worry about that because we're going to cover it up. Okay, I'm going in. And then I'm flipping it over and I'm going out and I'm going all the way over. Okay. I'm coming back. Okay. See how I have that? And I'm going through the middle again. All right. 
this one is on this side of this string, so I want my needle and the thread on that side, okay? All right. And we're going to leave it like that. All right, you wanna put, oh, look at that hole. That hole's crooked. Okay. Anyhow. Oh, that crooked. Well, they're big holes, that's why. All right, okay, so you have your bound. This just, this is the pamphlet stitch. I don't know. All right, but you have it and you wanna pull it tight, but not too strong, cause you'll rip your paper, you'll break your thread, and you'll have to do it all over again, okay? So, one knot, all right, always a double knotter, okay? There you go, all right? And then you can unclip it, and our journal is bound with our tail, okay? And I'm going to fix all that. Um, you can cut this and cover this with lace, which I think is what I'm going to do. Don't cut it too far because it's going to uh, come undone. But let me show you what you can do. Just, I mean, you could do it that close, okay? And then what we're going to do is open it back up because you see how cattywampus it is. That has been the word today. My sweet woman I'm watching a physical therapy came today and kept telling her she was cattywampus. And even tonight when I got her in bed, it's like, honey, you are, she, that, this poor woman's been cattywampus all day. Now, uh, I know for a fact, because I bought it all at one time, that um, uh, $1.25 tree has washi tape. I know they do. Um, or if you do have some lace, you can use lace. And I'm, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna do washi tape, but now I don't know what. I guess I will use this. Should I use this? No, I want a color. Sewing. Let's do this one, all right? Now what I would do, okay, any glue you got, all right? I'm going to glue, try to make an outline of the washi tape, okay? And I'm gonna glue that, my, my holes real well, kind of push that over, glue that real well so that those, that double knot stays and just, you know, kind of reinforce your binding is what you're doing, okay? All right. Yeah, um, I am. Uh, I am still working in my meadow journal, um, but I think I'm going to have to work on it like off screen for my own private sanity this week, and we'll get the napkin that uh, Kaya was going to eat. Oh, she's laying in Air's bed, sleeping like air. But I still don't know where her is. I've got Tom Tom, the blonde lab, the labradoodle, Jetta, and the healer. And Kaya, and I don't know where her air went. She must have gone into the living room. We have seven dogs in the house. All right. So see, it's that simple to hide your binding, okay? You can do the same thing here. Actually, I think I'm gonna use that one. Hi, Jetta Bean, do you wanna be in the, in the camera too? The Labradoodle wants to be on film too. Actually, they just want my attention. Did you miss the mama? Oh, you are breathing your hot air on me. Man, it, uh, I got, I had to go to town and put gas in the car that I'm borrowing. Oh, I got in there and it was uh, 113, uh, which is 45 degrees Celsius. I actually like the Celsius thing because it makes the cement a little cooler. <laughs> okay. All right. And I'm just gonna put that down. And not only if you mess up the binding, does it hide the binding, it reinforces it, okay? Try to 
try not to cut all your book pages. All right, so we just covered up our binding, okay? And the next is to, is to decide, do you want this pocket? I don't think I do. Are you gluing? Okay, you're gluing. So I'm just gonna go in the envelope, both top and bottom. But I'm not gonna, uh, man, yeah. You can put some in there, but once the, the ends, you know, done, it's pretty glued. What's the matter, Jetta Bean? So, Mama, pay attention to us. Okay, and I'm gonna get right here too. And just kind of, just a little bit. It doesn't need much. Okay. I apologize so much for. I swear I made a video. It's just it, this is just a week of transitioning. New job. Got to you know, turn my schedule around. <laughs> Jetta, you keep breathing on me like that. We're gonna have issues. I'm still breathing on me. Huh. Oh, and this, uh, in this house, uh, apparently they have more. I thought I've only seen two, but they're all brothers and sisters. And Denise with Junk Journal UK. Denise, they remind me of Simba. Well, not actually Simba, they're, uh, actually they remind me of Buddha, which is uh, Leslie at 507 Willow House Journal's cat. Um, but uh, they're frisky. Uh, I get in there and I sit down my purse and boy, they both are in my purse like, what you got, you know? <laughs> and which that reminds me of Simba when, when uh, Simba got on Denise's death. Do y'all see that? What is that? Ew. All right, I got rid of it. And I just killed a scorpion. They're coming in like crazy. He looked like a mean one. He had his tail up. And he got introduced to my flip-flop. Now he's dead. And Tom Tom was laying right there. Now see, that one was kind of, you know, funky when we opened it up, so I don't mind. Okay, and some bags have it to where they have this little lip, and if they do, you just run a bead of a glue. Okay. All right. Sweet, look at that. And so we have 10 pages, okay? 10 pages folded in half, you got 20 for a total of 40 surfaces, pages, surfaces that you can either decorate, uh, um, journal on or whatever. Does that make sense? I hope I'm right on my math. I don't know, y'all, I'm tired. I think I'm gonna keep that one because it's kinda, it's kinda decent. Or, you know, you can, uh, you can make, uh, glue it here and make it that kind of pocket where it's just on one side. You get what I'm saying? It would be like that, which I think that is what I'm going to do. Again, it doesn't need to be much, but you do need to make sure you get uh, the edge. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. All right. And then smash it down. Okay. And then, like, see how I have some right here? So I'm just gonna go and make sure my edges are done, okay? Okay. And you can go ahead and glue this. Just make sure you get your edge. That one, smash it down. Pick this up. I am. So, uh, I had to get an apple cinnamon candle, glade candle. You know why? They have taken my favorite glade, glade candle. Like I mean, I told my uh, children, it's like uh, you want to make something to make me to uh, give me something to make me totally happy. Is a glade candle. It's three dollar candle. 
at our grocery store. You can get me one of those. And it's Angel Whispers. That is the best scent besides Gardenia. Yeah, Gardenia and Cherry Blossom. Gardenia is my favorite scent, then Cherry Blossom, and then Angel Whispers. So it's my three top scents. They don't have them. They, uh, they're trying to make us think it's cooler and it's fall, so they put out all the apple cinnamon and all the fall scents. So yeah, I wanted a candle. And I had to go with that. So I got apple cinnamon up in the house. Mm, not by choice. All right, that is how simple it is to make a journal, okay? So if you think you wanna get into this, Go to Dollar Twenty Five Tree. You can grab you some washi tape. Masking tape will work just as well. Okay. Um, there's been several journals where I will just put masking tape on. Another thing you can do with masking tape is you can take your sharpie and you can uh, lay out your tape and make marks on it and uh, use that. Okay. I mean, a paper bag and a book you know, and some string, uh, some masking tape, and you can make a journal just like this. Okay, how long have I been going? Oh Lord, I don't even have my glasses. I don't even know where my glasses are. Let me grab the other pair. All right, 26 minutes. All right, so, um, so that is how you start a journal. You, you go to Sonic, you get you a bag, uh, or you, uh, $1.25 tree, I'm sure, has a package of these lunch sacks, but my point was that if you, you know, you go out and about and you have one of these and it's in good shape and it doesn't have the oil stains, come home, fold it, chop it down. If you have a book in the house, use that. And even if the book is bigger than that, you can always cut it down, all right? A ruler, scissors, and glue. That's really all you need. Okay, and then, um, so I'm, that's gonna be part one. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna call this yet because I'm tired. Um, but uh, this is how to start a journal. Uh, part two will be uh, decorating uh, the front and back and then we'll, uh, you know, put in, oh, arrows at my foot. She's looking at my ankle. Um, we will, start putting in tucks and, and, and belly bands and pockets and stuff, okay? All right, I hope this was inspirational to you. Um, it, I'm telling you, it, if you think you really want to do this, just go to Dollar Tree, Dollar Twenty Five Tree, get you some washi tape, masking tape. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I choked on myself. Um, a paper bag and a book. Um, the book will be a dollar twenty-five if you want washi tape. That'd be a dollar twenty-five if you don't have masking tape. You can pick up one there for a dollar twenty-five. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you just tear out the pages. You know, uh, find something. Um, you know, a pen will work. You know, um, and twine. You get that a dollar tree. Do dollar 25 tree needles and everything okay <clears throat> let me get a drink i'm choking on my own okay i'm better all right so um you know gather your stuff watch the video um put one together uh you don't even need string you can pick up a stapler if you don't already have one um, and, um, I think in the next video I might show you, but all you do is just flip it over and put three staples instead of the thread. Okay. All right. Uh, let me know if you want to see me do a staple one. I might go ahead and do a staple one because my girlfriend and, and, and guy friends, um, I have tons of these bags and everything. Like I said, I got inspired by the Sonic bag that somebody chewed up. And uh, I have tons of books from the library that I used to work at. Okay? All right. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you would like to come on this little journey and, and st get addicted to junk journaling, grab your uh, glue and your scissors and your ruler. 
and other supplies, drop by Dollar Tree, and come back for the next video. And until I see you again, I love y'all. Bye.